welcome to my video on the 40 foot container home. So, first thing we've got to do, this one here, operates the hydraulics, down up there, and you can just see, it's lifting the container up, there's rear wheels on the back. Then lift the rear link arms up, and we're away. So it's just a bit of a video really to have a walk around and have a look at this 40 foot mobile shipping container. So it's got this frame on the front and the hydraulic pipes are there. Go there like that. And it's just bolted on to the, uh, the bits where you do the lifting. So where you put the chains on to do the lifting, it's got this frame that's just on the rear linkage like that. Plugged in, you can put it on any tractor, I suppose. I'll look inside afterwards. So I've just got it out and uh, just washed all the windows and a few bits. Probably just want a bit of a clean. And there's a frame on the back as well. It's bolted on the same, so you can take these frames off and move it wherever you want to. This is for the uh, septic tank. So you have a septic tank behind, goes into it rear axle and it's actually a steering axle so the wheels obviously go left and right where you want them you can see the sort of a little bit offset at the moment so i can control that out of the cab wheel to go left and right by turning these taps so when i want to lift it up turn the taps lift the whole thing off the floor turn the taps and then it operates the the steering so you can get it down the road and get it into some tight spots get it in some gateways And then when you are in the field, you could either take the frame off if you wanted to. Like I say, it's just bolted on to all four corners, so it's probably only take 10 minutes to take the front and rear frame off the back. Or you can just lift, lift the axles up and have the uh, wheels up in the air so that they're not on the floor, so the whole thing sits on the floor. This is the waste for the kitchen sink and bathroom there. That all comes out and goes into the soakway as well. Uh, not soakway, the septic tank mains water in this is the gas regulator bowls for the boiler obviously you have your gas bottles practiced here and then main electric in just here that was a quick walk around on the outside i'm just going to move it now really easy to move i can operate the steering on this one again left and right whichever way I want the rear of the container to go to ram and stop using the steering axle so we'll cut the steering ram off open up for the uh, for the main lift ram now so I'll get back in the cab and I'll be able to operate that ram up and down to lift the whole thing you still see it's got the still got the container doors as well we'll put this back down again I can't quite see because the container is so long, but it is going down. And I'll put it down on here as well. So now the container's down. It's got the wheels lifted up, look. And they just fold up. So they're probably about six inches off the floor there. So you can, like I say, you can either take that frame off or leave them folded up like that to keep the whole thing mobile. So we'll go and have a look inside. This is the bedroom. Wooden sliding door. Very nice to save room. Bedroom. Got your mains power in over there. This is where your sofa will be. Nice little wood burner. Still got to put the top on. Yeah, because I take it off for going down the road so I don't hit the trees. Domestic boiler. Nice little kitchen as well. Give it a bit of a clean. 
another sliding door for the bathroom. And then the, this whole floor sits up slightly higher so the pipes can obviously get the fall to go in the septic tank. So this is raised probably eight inches off the floor. So there's like a little step up to go in. Shower room, all looking very nice. It's got frosted glass in here as well. So this is the mobile 40 foot container home that you can tow down the road. We're really sort of uh, interested to see what you think to it. Obviously been built and uh, let me know some bits in the comments. I just want to show you one more thing outside. So obviously the side of the container was here. It's had four holes cut. One, two, three, four. And then it's had angle iron welded round. And then like a bit of an X put in here with steel to uh, obviously strengthen it up because when you cut the side out, you're, you know, you're taking all the strength out of the side of the container. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that little walk around video of the mobile 40 foot shipping container. Another thing I forgot to add as well, the whole thing has got 50 mil of rock wool all the way around it. So it's like battened waterproof membrane then it's got like 50 mil rock wall, then the wooden cladding and the same for the roof. It's cladded on the roof so it slopes off as well. So yeah, see you in the next video.